Hey what's up everybody, thank you for checking this video. If you want to see more, please leave a like and subscribe. But even if you don't, enjoy and happy coding! This episode is brought to you by Skysilk. If you're looking for a free Linux-based VPS in the cloud, go to skysilk.com. No strings attached. Just awesome stuff. How to install MariaDB on Ubuntu. MariaDB is one of the most popular database servers made by the same developers of MySQL. It's fairly similar to MySQL, but the fundamental differences that made me pick this database are the fact that it's fully open source, has overall better performance, it's not owned by Oracle, which I'm personally not a fan of, it's fully compatible with the most common system and has almost zero effort migration support. You can follow this tutorial even if you decide to use MySQL by, of course, changing commands accordingly. Let's SSH into our server and check for a package updates as usual and if we have some, install them. Let's install MariaDB by typing sudo apt install mariadb-server and mariadb-client. We need both in order to install the server in our VPS and the client as an interface to connect and interact with the server. Done! Now we can control this service with the usual standard commands via our system controller. So sudo systemctl stop mariadb.server to stop, start, or enable this service after first install or if it was disabled. Pretty straightforward, right? Now comes the important step. Let's type sudo mysql underscore secure underscore installation. This command is fundamental as it takes care of removing and updating all those default settings in our database that don't really make sense in a production ready server. Follow the steps on screen to set up a root password which will be the password used to access our database. Remove the default anonymous user prevent any remote login to our database, meaning only users connected via SSH or software installed directly on our server will be able to access our database, remove the default test database, and reload the table privileges to complete the setup. Wonderful, let's restart our service with sudo systemctl restart mariadb.service. Now it's time to access our database. If we try to type mysql space dash u root, we're telling the system to connect to mysql with the user root, that's what the dash u stands for. Even if we install MariaDB, the default command to access it is still mysql. I know, it's pretty weird and can be kind of confusing. You should have a prompt of access denied because we set a password for our root user, so let's type mysql dash u root as the user and then dash p to say that we want to add a password. When we get prompt with entering the password, let's enter the password that we defined before. Well, also this time, even if we specified our password, we can't access it. How's that? This is due to the high security settings we define and the fact that we cannot access the MariaDB service if we're not acting as super user. So if we type sudo mysql dash root dash p and we enter the password, ta-da, now we're in. This is okay but it's kind of annoying, always acting as super user it's not ideal, and how can we handle the super user connection if we want to use this database with WordPress or Laravel? Well, we can easily update the privileges of our root user and allow it to access the MariaDB service without typing sudo. Inside our open MariaDB client, let's type update mysql.user set plugin equal in single quotes mysql underscore native underscore password where the user it's equal inside single quote to root and the plugin it's equal inside single quotes again unix underscore socket and semicolon at the end. Hit enter. Perfect, now let's enter the command, all uppercase, to flush the privileges. And remember to put the semicolon at the end of every command, otherwise the client will go to another line. Let's get out of our MariaDB client by typing exit, and try again to access it, but this time without the sudo command. 
everything should work as expected. If you need more control on your database in terms of controlling the amount of queries, how much computation and data you want to allow, and other advanced things like that, you can directly edit a config file by typing sudo nano slash etc slash mysql slash mariadb.conf.d slash 50 as a number 50 dash server dot cnf and in this file you can find everything you need thanks for watching and i talk to you in the next one